Hey guys, what's going on? We got a enhancement shaman PvP video. This is the very first session of arenas of the new season. And um it went pretty good, but uh as you will come to see, enhancement is very squishy, that is the one thing. But enhancement is definitely in a much much better position than when it started, and it is a uh, more viable in threes than it is ever gonna be in twos, so keep that in mind. But anyways, let's get into this. We are playing Enhancement, Windwalker, Resto Druid, Shook and Plum are both on their characters. Um, so a lot of times we lost to typically Fury Warriors, Warlocks, or maybe a Frost Mage. That's when we lost a lot and, you know, it started off strong. And then as we got up, we started playing, you know, the Aflox and stuff. And then we started losing. But anyways, let's get into these matches. So first off here, we got Fury Ret. Um... This has a significant amount of burst, so you have to be very, very careful and very diligent with your um, with your defensives and stuff like that. Also, you have to keep an eye out for the dragon because Prez has a lot of damage output, but also providing a significant amount of burst healing, which is kind of crazy. But you can see here, he's just spam sleeping. I should be interrupting, but I'm so worried about keeping my, trying to keep myself alive. It's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, you can see our damage is a bit low compared to this ret. He's doing insane amounts of damage. There, the ret starts pushing out. So I kind of just walk a little bit away, root the warrior, get him off of me. I want to try and get my health back up and stuff like that. But there we get Emerald Communion. I feel like the Prez just was like, you know what? Let's just use it since it hasn't been happening. Plum does a nice ring of peace, allowing me to heal myself just a little bit. Get... Uh, get shook out of his sleep and then i just kind of los a small amount just reducing a bit of damage jump to the prez to get away from the melee at the same time uh plum got a really good knock up with his whirling dragon punch allowing me a little bit of extra time to let the druid hots tick and get me a little bit more healed up but here i got my wall so i'm like okay i can get back in here and start doing damage so we want to go for the ret paladin because he has uh less defense power than a fury warrior so we're going to be attacking him until he bubbles and with this comp we have a lot of swap potential so here we get the bubble right there and now we're going right to the warrior no no time to waste just right to the warrior and shook gets a really nice clone on the prez and we're just able to capitalize on that but you can just see, I spent that entire match at like 20% health, trying to heal myself as much as possible. Plum's trying to peel for me. It's it's honestly terrifying. Even with these extra defenses, extra healing, I'm trying to do all of this, and it's just like, it doesn't feel like it. So it, maybe this comp is better with a Prez Evoker with how strong they are, but I also feel like I, I really don't know how healers are comparing to each other. Uh, this one was interesting. They really wanted uh, they really wanted Plum here, and then I believe they swapped to Shook. But we just went full full damage right away. As soon as they opened, we just countered their damage. You can see I have Counter Strike too, which um, a lot of people didn't seem to kill, which is good on our part. I see him go for a fear, so bam, Tremor towed him down. We get a lot of defensives out of the Feral here. We got his, uh, I think we got both charges of Survival Instincts, and now he's just forced into Bear. We chase a little bit, but again, we're fighting a Resto Druid, so I really want to force this Druid to swap his Hots all the time, spending a significant amount of mana. As you can see, he's at half mana, and Shook is at almost full mana, or maybe just lost a quarter of his mana, and we're just putting, we're putting so much pressure on them. And here... We start getting even more double nice double leg sweep the druid spamming heals so i get an interrupt on him which kind of forces him to panic a little bit he's still spamming regrowth so i go in for a hex nobody tries to stop me the warrior's trying to get away plum is just sticking to him there we go bloodlust doom winds big damage coming in and they just can't stop it but yeah um i did notice that pharaohs aren't really going for cyclones anymore uh, but I'm not too sure why. I I guess they must have removed the uh, Cyclone Talent, so kind of sucks. But here we're fighting a Turbo Cleave. Um, this is one of Enhancement's best compositions, but I'm not I'm not sure anymore. Uh, this Windwalker Monk Enhance was feeling pretty good with the Extreme Burst. 
So I'm not sure. But anyways, our main focus is going to be on the enhancement shown because he has the least amount of defensive. And this warrior just did not seem to want to help his teammate. So there we saw Bop. We saw his thing. So I went ahead and uh, purged it. I'm running greater purge now. I just find it more easier and I honestly find it more reliable than regular purge. Seems to want to purge the proper things off and not have to sit there and spam for hours. But here they push really far in. I go ahead and sit over here. Tried to knock him away, but that didn't work. So I go ahead and lasso. Wait, so the shaman went for a hex, but at the same time, the paladin had to bubble, but it just wasn't enough. And I guess we were able to cancel out a lot of their damage, but I think they would have had a better time going after myself or Plum in a damage battle rather than going after a resto druid. It seemed kind of silly in my opinion. Um, they would have had a better time doing quick swaps onto the DPS because they have a paladin that has more externals that can deal with it, but maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, it was uh, pretty interesting. And here we have TSG. This is also a terrifying comp because they have a fully front loaded damage burst. And you'll see here in a second, you have to be like, you have to be really fast with your um, defensives. So Plum got a nice sweep there. Somehow he didn't blind Shook, but he blinded me, which was kind of interesting. But we just got a complete 180 on their burst. Just completely deleted the DK. Now, I wasn't paying attention to if he had gear. I just assume he did. But like Plum did so much instant damage, it was crazy. But here, I guess they wanted to play it out and um, try and get something, I guess. So we just, you know but it was quite interesting to see like DKs can definitely fall over really really fast if you catch them off guard but they are also very tanky and very good to heal so this one was also an interesting uh, affliction fury uh, our main focus is going to be on the fury or not the fury uh, affliction warlock but again if you can if you can't hit it hit the closest thing you have to you like, get the damage out, don't worry about it. Force the healer to heal targets, not just, you know, aimlessly run at somebody. Try and pull the target with you while you're damaging them. But anyways, you can see here, he's playing on top of his demonic circle, which is kind of odd. Um, not the greatest uh, idea in the game, but, you know, I can't really tell if he already used his gate or not. But we're going to be putting all the pressure on the aft lock. You can see we're just stopping his casting. And the, the Shaman's just going for constant heals, and he just links late. Just, we have such a crazy burst that um, it just catches everybody off guard, and it's great. But, I mean, like, the biggest downfall of Enhancement is going to be its defense. Even still with the buffs, it's definitely kind of crazy. But here is the last match, Unholy Marksman. This is not a very common composition at all. Um, it's quite interesting that they brought just two... I think S tier classes together and they're able to just push out so much damage. But here we get a nice opener, get everybody in. Um, I don't pop Doom Winds too early because everybody likes to CC as soon as I Bloodlust. So I try and save it for a couple seconds and then I pop Doom Winds after. And you can just see the amount of damage. I see the Hunter just sitting over there. So I go ahead and just use Ascendance to hit him because I can, right? It's ranged effect. So here. Uh, Shook's getting CC'd, so I kind of back off, get out of line of sight of the Hunter, because he's doing a significant amount of damage. And then I pull the DK away as well. But yeah, as you can see, Hunter comes in, and it's like, okay, well, now we can get to him. Use Wind Rush so I can catch him, because DKs do really, really powerful slows, uh, which don't seem to break for whatever reason, but yeah. Here you can see, put a lot of pressure on him. There's Turtle. Swap to the DK instantly. Druid's going to have a hard time rehealing all this damage. And there's the Cyclone, and he's down. But yeah, guys, that is the first session of the season. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hope any of this information helps. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Laters!